I'm Kiki. And I'm Keisha. And, and we are Super Mom DIY. Hey, this is Kiki, and in this tutorial, you'll learn how to make pleated curtains. So what you will need um, is a quantity of three rolls of the Ofray 3-inch wide ribbon. Um, I got it from Joann's. They're $2.99 a spool, and I think it's 9 feet on a spool, and I have my 50% off coupon, always. You will also need your actual curtain panel. So I used two panels from Target. They were $9.99 each, and they're 84 inches long. So what I'm going to do is first make my pleats with the ribbon. So as you see here, I'm going to fold up the ribbon and then pin it. You want to pin it from left to right or right to left, basically horizontally, so that when you're sewing, it's easy to pull the pins out. Um, some kind of way, like my first strip, I did it wrong. I pinned it vertically, and it was just harder when trying to sew, as you'll see in the next clip where you see me actually sewing uh, my strips. But what you want to do is um, make enough so that you have more than enough to cover the length of your curtain. Right, so what I'm doing now is I'm using a straight stitch and I'm just going to sew that all the way down. And you see my pins aren't placed properly. So now I have my full strip of ribbon and what I'm going to do is using that center uh, sewing line that I made, I'm going to line it up to that um, inner hem that's on my curtain. So I decided for the look that I want, I only want the ribbon on the inside part of the curtain as it's hanging, not on the outside or on both, because I thought that was going to be too much. So I'm going to line it up and pin it every, I would say, three or four inches or so. Now here's my machine. I have an XR9500 Project One Way Brother, and I'm going to use a zigzag stitch in order to attach the ribbon to the curtain. So I'm going to change my setting to number four. Make sure I have my J foot on. And if you want more information on using this machine, in case you have it, you know, leave it in the comments box. So now I'm ready to go. So with my zigzag stitch, I'm just going to make sure that zigzag stitch is lined directly over that vertical single stitch or straight stitch that I already had. And here you see I'm done. Well, that was quick. <laughs> of course, it took a lot longer because my panels are 84 inches. So just up close, you can see how nice the zigzag stitch looks, and it does cover up that initial straight stitch. So what I decided to do here, so that I could have the curtain go, all, I mean the ribbon or the uh, pleat go all the way to the top, is I stopped at the bottom of the open part, brought the pleat to the top, and then sewed it to secure it at the top. That way it's still open so I can hang my curtains, and I think it looks so awesome. And then here it is, just clip back, but I'll get some tie backs. Thanks for watching.